Sonar Seas takes a unique mortality event, a stranding event of beaked whales, which happened in 2018, as a starting point to explore the impact of anthropogenic sound and in particular military sonar on the ecology of the seas around the Hebrides. In 2018, 118 whales came ashore. It was the largest global stranding of beat whales ever recorded. It wasn't disease, it wasn't entanglement, it wasn't toxic poisoning. So the only other factor that could be considered, as far as I'm aware, um, is the impact of anthropogenic sound, uh, most likely caused by mid-range military sonar. Joint Warrior is an exercise which happens twice a year around the, the coast of Scotland and it's the biggest tactically focused military exercise um, in Europe. I decided that I wanted to find out a bit more. I approached the Hebridean Whale and Dolphin Trust. They specialise in research and data collection. Working with the scientists at the Hebridean Whale and Dolphin Trust definitely gave me access to thinking processes as well as the technical processes that they use that I would not have thought about using in, as, a, as a way to understand this environment. Science can tell the story in one way and bringing, bringing art and music and poetry helps us tell the story in another way. I wanted to understand what they were looking for, how they were measuring it, um, how they were collecting data and what would, what would it actually be like to be in a 19 metre sailing boat in waters that were being um, used by the military for this, for this big um, international tactically focused exercise. The exhibition in itself, there are two spaces. There's this room which is quieter and more tranquil and I commissioned a poem um, by Mull-based Dutch artist Meeks Wamborn to reflect on the, the event. And also in that space, we decided to suspend a Cuvier's beaked whale skull and the, the very dynamic space that has video work and the composition. And it also has um, an installation of cast silver ear bones, which form what I call a new constellation. It's a constellation of strandings. And it's made up of the stranding sites around the island where I live. Um, and this motif is reflected in the, in the video work. I knew that I wanted to work with the sound that I'd collected and I invited a composer, Fergus Hall, who's based in Glasgow, to um, write, a, write a piece of um, sound work um, based on the hydrophone recordings taken from that trip in 2021. The, the kind of the main thing, all these organs and sort of pitched sort of instruments that come from that is actually taking very, very specific little blips of sound, quite often dolphin clicks, and repeating them very, very fast and that creates frequencies and suddenly you've got this playable sort of instrument. So the entire thing in that sense is, is dolphins and whales and whatnot, even though it doesn't really sound like it. Really interesting with dolphins is when you, when you pitch shift them down because they're so high pitched anyway, you actually then find there's a lot of material sound material that's way beyond our hearing. So when you pitch shift it down, you're suddenly, there's suddenly more stuff there. For me, I think it's the idea of sound as an, a way of experiencing a world. I think we are kind of largely animals that, that experience a lot of our world th through sight. And cetaceans certainly do see, but so much of their experience is actually through sound. Below the beautiful surface of the Hebridean waters, there's a landscape that's unexplored and un unknown to most members of the public. And I hope that the exhibition will lead people into thinking more about that and wanting perhaps to find out a bit more about anthropogenic sound pollution.